Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss multi-threading programming. Multi-threading is a very, very popular programming mechanism in C++, especially for multi-CPU environment. It allows the computer to run in two or more objects, functions, tasks concurrently. So in other words, to be running function in parallel. Here on the Linux, I have one simple program and called my thread ex.cpp. So in this program, we have a very simple structure, typical. I have a function called my function, and I have a main program function, which just uh, get the return code equals there and the return because the return value is int and my function was defined as int. So to running this function, let's say five times, in the classical way, we can do make a loop for i and t i equals zero and i less than five plus plus. So this is a typical loop. Inside the loop, we call the return code equal my function and uh, put this i is a variable so we can run in this one so let's uh, save this and uh, we go to another terminal we compiling and we run this program you can see our program function have been run five times first times we put number loop is zero five thousand ten thousand and the second times zero five thousand ten thousand so our function is uh, making loop from zero to ten thousand and uh, we just printed out uh, the loop zero loop five thousand and loop ten thousand so here is the running result so it's say program running sequence say one loop finish and the uh, finish three uh, finish three running the second four so to making this uh, function running in parallel how do we do once we one way we can do using the thread so we can clear let's say we declare std thread thread and the code my thread we create a five times okay and then in the loop we can say mth thread number i equal std thread and my function and to pass the parameter in the comma says my function and the number i so after we created my thread we make a loop Again, and the uh, weight is uh, my th i dot join, and this after this join, so waiting all the thread is uh, finished, and then we finished. So we create a thread, we just uh, making round, we making week old thread finish and we finish the code. So let's cut this, this uh, save this program, and we clean, it's compiling again. And we let's run again. So you can see, so you can see because of the function is running in parallel it's not in sequence 0 1 2 3 it's during the it's a 0 maybe the 4 during the row 4 running and the way starting we are still running the number 1 and the number 4 finishes uh, in this 
last and the number straight number two finish the last. So this shows we can running the old function five function in parallels. This is a classical way. one way we create a threading. After C plus plus eleven, there's another way to create create a threading using the STD future. So here is the STD future. It says since C plus plus eleven. So a class template STD future provide a mechanism to access the result of asynchronous operations. And as this asynchronous operation created via STD async. So STD future and STD async, but via STD async to create a criticism operations. So how to use STD future? Let's use the same example instead of us here. And in order to use the STD future, we have to include a header file and the future. So And let's see, we can type. And because our function is the int, so we create an int std future five times. And in this case, my th equal instead of a std async a single to say, and the functions uh, syntax is same. My function and the Parameter we call. After we got the std async, we can say make a loop again, return code equal std my, my thread dot get because we're using the std future and use via std async to create a thread and we use std get to get the re return code. And uh, now we save this. And, uh, let's go to other terminal. Make. And uh, make this uh, compiling this uh, program again. So let's run this again. And uh, So let's run this again. You can see we are using ST future. Our program running still a single zero one after zero one started threading three and threading three the five thousand after finish the threading two and the threading three is the last one who finished. So it's not in sequence because all this threading zero one two three running in parallel. There's a, in the one of a preview video we have a, demonstrated another way to use in the thread. We use in the P thread. So P thread create to create a thread. So there's another way to create using thread to running program in parallels. It, which way is good? Which way is bad? It's hard to see. It's also depend how the you know your project doing. What's the standard of company using? And making decision. So, so hello. This is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hope this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.